What's going on guys? Welcome to Carrasco Ranch. We are not at Carrasco Ranch. We are actually in uh, between Del Rio and Rock Springs doing a little access and all dead hunting. We're going to see what we can get on. Uh, we're here. We we're lucky to be invited out here to r &S Ranch to come out here and hunt. So let's see what happens. Um, if you want to see more content like this, definitely consider subscribing. Definitely give this video a like and uh, stay tuned. Just giving you guys a look at what I'm looking at here. Kind of pan around so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Feeder is actually about 100 yards, 105 I believe, 100 yards um, from the blind. So, Not a bad scenery at all guys. What's going on guys? So today is Sunday. It's the next day. Um, just to recap, so last night I ended up staying in the blind till about midnight. Uh, we went and barbecued around 3, ate some dinner, came back to the blind. My dad was in another blind on the other ridge on the other side. Um, we stayed in here till about midnight, brought my uh, night vision. If you haven't seen my last video or my last, I think it's like the last video, the second to last video, um, I talk about my night vision and what my setup. That's the setup I brought with me. And uh, brought it with me, um, saw a fox, I'll show y'all a clip of the fox, and a little bit of raccoons, and that was about it. Um, my dad was about 700 yards away, 750, um, on the other side of the ridge. He did see some axis, um, but the thing with that is that the axis were there, they came out to the feeder, he said he was pulling out his gun, and then a group of like 30 hogs showed up and obviously scared off the access. So um, he didn't get a shot at them. Um, he stayed out there. He, that, I think that happened like around 8 30, 9 o'clock. We stayed out there. We stayed out here to about midnight. Nothing. So it's the next morning. It's Sunday. Um, we're waiting to see what happens. It's about 8 o'clock right now. Nothing has came up. Um, one thing did happen last night. So I was in the blind. And about 8 o'clock um, at night, I hear something jump down from this tree behind me, which I don't know if you can see that, but there's an oak tree. And uh, it sounded like a something big, and I was like, what the hell? First thing that came to my mind was a freaking cat. I was like, holy shit, that might be a mountain lion that was in the tree or something. And it sounded like it pounced from the ground, I mean, pounced from the tree down to the ground. And uh, it was... I don't know, scratching its nails or sharpening its nails or doing something. I don't know what the hell it was doing. I thought for a second maybe it was a hog, but it wasn't a hog because a hog is going to be, you know, rooting around, being really messy and loud. This thing was loud, but it wasn't, it didn't sound like a hog. So I don't know what the hell it was. Um, so I had the wind in my favor. So the wind was blowing from my right to my left. So the wind was exiting the blind. It wasn't going back behind me. But then we did get a change of wind. The wind swirled, and I heard something. I heard that thing freaking run off. So, whatever it was, it was pretty big. And if it was a cat, it probably saw me climb into this freaking blind um, when I came into the blind. So that thing could have done some damage to me if it really wanted to do some damage to me. So luckily, if it was a cat, he wasn't interested. So I wasn't on his menu. I do just want to give a thanks to RNS Ranch for having us come out. My dad and I, um, they were very accommodating. Sid was really nice and uh, very accommodating. I had forgotten some, to bring some uh, spices and things like that to barbecue. Had it all packed up, forgot the bag at home. I was like, God dang it. Um, luckily, he had some stuff here at the cabin, so not to worry. Um, but everything overall, it went, it went well. Um, we didn't get an access or an odd ad, but... Um, still, we still had a good time, you know, sh shared some laughs and, uh, you know, got to spend time together with my dad. So it was a great day, a uh, great weekend. Um, Y'all yeah, probably won't be seeing this video for till I get back in town. Um, 
But thanks, guys, for sticking around. Do appreciate it. And until next time, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless. We'll catch you later. Just one last view for you guys. Definitely different terrain. All right, guys, so here we go. We're leaving the ranch. And uh, it was fun. We didn't get anything, unfortunately, but still had a good time. My dad did see some access, but didn't get, didn't get a chance to shoot. So when you do come out here to Rock Springs, there's certain areas that do require four-wheel drive. I will tell you that if you guys are ever planning out to coming out in Rock Springs, uh, hunting in the, I guess what the, I guess this is called the Hill Country area. These are some pretty steep rocks that we have encountered over here. So just a heads up for any of you guys planning on hunting in these areas.